Murphy too. My experience working with the Flexio 990 um, spray paint gun I purchased. Um, you can use um, the cup to paint with it. You can take the cup off just by simple putting down on the tab here and it's off. You ready to switch over to your heavy duty spray with the main nozzle. This slides on there and snaps into place and you're ready to go. This, um, the paint comes through the tube here. Simply taking this section here, the pump, and setting it next to your paint bucket. And this tube goes inside of your paint, whether it's a normal paint bucket or a five gallon um, paint bucket. This works the same. Um, this adjustable clip back here can adjust the different um, containers. But this is your pump here, and um, the paint comes out. You just press the um, the level there and uh, you can um, pretty much control. You got your airflow dial here, your liquid flow volume there and your uh, on the top here you can adjust horizontal spray or vertical spray and right here at the very tip how much paint, how wide of an angle you want the paint to come out. It's done by the Versity tool, the Flexio 990 spray gun. Firstly, to work with my Flexio um, 990 paint sprayer here. Just finished doing um, trimming on a house. And you have to uh, meet the instructions to be able to work this, otherwise, it's going to be a big mess. So you can see paint all over the place. But this is the spray gun here. And I'm in the process of cleaning it, but let me show you how this. Um, works. Here's the um, clip. That causes this piece to attach, detach from the main motor. This clip right here with my thumb. The spare that that's attached to the hose here the long hose attached to it and uh, attached to the hose is the um, the power supply power cord but this hose is um I kind of maybe over eight, 18 feet maybe a little more pretty long tube and it goes all the way down from the um, gun to this pack that sets on the um, side of your paint can or your five gallon bucket it's adjustable this part sets inside of your this part sets inside of your bucket here. The suction tube. The suction tube here. Anyway, this is the um, <coughs> the main gun here. It just simply slides in, twist and um, snap into place, locks right down in here. In the process of cleaning this up. But we're not using this gun that uh, is connected to the bucket here. You can use the uh, little handy spray cup the slides into place. Let me get it in there. And snap right into place if you want to go with this. Just have to keep refilling the, the cup once it gets low. But you can adjust this horizontal or vertical. Let's make sure it's tight. Here's the trigger here. And here's a clip 
that uh, actually clips to your belt. <coughs> Just slides over your belt like this. And the um, gun, when it's connected here, this stem that sticks up at the top of the gun, this slides inside of a slot here, side of the, side of the belt holder, but this way. When you're going up the ladder, this uh, holds the gun on your waist. Now on the side here, you replace the filters, just pop it up with a flathead screwdriver. And replace the um, filters that comes with um, two extra sponge filters. You can, all, you can make, make these. You just simply slide in the side here. back on and just snap back into place. Just like that. One on each side. Put the plug connect from the gun. Just plug that in. This hole is really long as you can see. Out of hose. Now this part here um, <coughs> sits alongside of the bucket or a five gallon bucket or a, a paint bucket. This suction tube set, sets inside of the bucket. Just sets down in there like that. And you have your, your on and off power button here. We have a uh, little clip that holds the gun in place. It slides right on top of the uh, the gun there, like that. Kind of keeps it upright while you're um, stopping or trying to maneuver. Handle there. <coughs> I got my pump here. suction to slide some warm silky water. <coughs> I can watch here, <coughs> see if my hose is getting clear, my two new. Right in front of me all curled up. <coughs> and just turn my power on. taken okay. keep on it until uh, it comes out clear. A little, a little cloudy. Snap on and off. Let's press down here. Twist. And it's off.
this and it's off <coughs> the head I'm just turn here it comes off and this whole piece slides back so clean that up individually I'm going to set this in the paint bucket here let it soak Bring it this piece just slides off all that up, set it in my water. My tube that um, sucks in the paint from the bucket, it um, comes up with this clamp here. It slides back on here. I just clamp it down. It's not very easy to make sure that's soaking in water, clean it out. The warm soaking water here. And this is the part that the paint comes through. It's not electrical. take and try to get some of this paint off of here. This latex um, on this plastic material seems to come out pretty easy. And this is the hose before. I am um, going to scrub it down. I'll show you the after. Some warm water and scrub padding and some rags. Of Take care of that. Be careful with my gun here. This, this, that electrical part. It's got a little wet scrub pan here. Try not to put too much water on there. Here again, the paint comes right off. Just separate them. Thank you.